So it's been literally a lifetime, I feel. At least. Maybe more. I'm gonna keep my phone off the desk. That'll help. Keep using the wrong mouse. I have the dashboard on my laptop. So I keep trying to use that. On the computer, it doesn't work. Wonder why. Ha 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 ha. So. It's been a minute. I'll tell you that. I'll admit it. I'll, I'm, um. You know, I'm sorry. I've been through a lot. Uh, we moved from an apartment into a house, and now we're gonna move from this house into an apartment in February. That'll be nice. Maybe. Who knows? Um. Pretty much all you think of. I was, I've been busy living life and working. So, today I bring to you Day of the Tentacle Remastered by LucasArts. Uh, yes, as in George Lucas, the man who brought us both Star Wars and Indiana Jones. Um, and I'm sure other things. But not the Crystal Skull, Indiana Jones. No one wants to talk about that. Um, this is his uh, from his software company, Lu LucasArts, of course. This has been remastered by Double Fine, and so after the opening cutscene, I'll um, show you the difference between the remaster and the original, because they have a function on here that can do that. <clears throat> if I sound like crap, it's because I've been sick. So, First stream back in forever is a sicky stream, yay! Alright, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start the opening cinematic with a new game. Ooh, I've already beaten this once. And I might pull up a guide if I need to. Some of this you can pretty much figure out on your own just by wandering around and clicking, which is the point of a point-and-click adventure game. You wander around, you click on shit, and you figure it out yourself. Uh, but I'm a big baby who prefers to be right all the time. So I might look something up if I want. It's my stream. I'm also going to be drinking orange juice because it's my stream. Okay, new game. See you guys later. In a minute. should drink that I actually kind of want to talk over it so <clears throat> nonsense it makes me feel great smarter more aggressive oh no actually you know what fuck I it never mind we'll like go the old way mostly cuz my voice is shit right now like I could I could. Take, Take on, on the world. Look, Ogi, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like, we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacle's mutated into an insane genius. And Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go... ...back to the mansion.
Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain command HQ here in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? All right, we're back. Um, I'll also probably be checking some stuff, but, um, welcome to the controls. Uh, you know, you can pretty much do everything with your mouse if you want. There's basic things, um, like opening the menu, which is what you saw in the beginning. Enter to confirm. You can use the arrow, ke arrow keys to navigate the menu instead of the mouse if you want. Uh, skipping cutscenes, stuff like that. It's also controller supported. There you go. Uh, and this one is Maniac Mansion controls. And you can see right here it says Dot, which would be Day of the Tentacle. So this game is newer than Maniac Mansion. And Maniac Mansion is a game that LucasArts put out a really, really long time ago. And by really, really long time ago, I'm going to say 20 years ago. Maybe more. Um... Uh, I don't know if it was a pioneer of its time, I'm not really sure, but Maniac Mansion had to do with some of the characters that are in this game, because this is kind of like a sequel. I mean, it is. Uh, it has to do with Ed, Edis Ed Edison? Something like that. And, uh, he's a mad sci he's a mad scientist, and there's an asteroid that crashes in the back of his back- in the backyard of his mansion, and it starts, like, possessing him, and his- you know, his wife is crazy, and his son- his son was actually just a military fanatic back then. Uh, scrawny kid, weird looking, had a hamster, something happens to the hamster, or could happen to the hamster in that game. It's an in-joke later. Um, the reason- that- it- that same hamster that's in that opening scene, um- and Bernard Bernou Bernard Bernoulli is, you know, the nerdy kid. Uh, this nerdy kid. As in, yes, as in the Bernoulli, Bernoulli principle. He, um, he was in the first game. I don't think the other two were. Oop. And by the other two, I mean Hoagie and the girl whose name escapes me right now. But, um... Bernard was in that one, and you'll get to see the Edison family, who is also in that one. And this game's kind of cool, because you'll see it later. You'll get to control all three characters in Manic Mansion. I think he picked three out of, like, a possible six? I don't know. <laughs> First time I saw this this game being played, uh, Notch was playing it. It was, like, 2013. And, um, and then I saw Sips play it. That's good. Sips is good at this. So let's see what it looks like. Looked like before, back in the day. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. You had to. Oh, that's old. You had to like uh like use textbook with payphone. I'd rather not. No one would. But no one would, Bernard. But what is in our inventory? Inventory. It's a textbook. If you right-click it, you can do stuff with it. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff. You're such a fucking nerd. All right. Uh, I don't know what those are for. Well, gotta quit doing that. Anyway. Uh, 
So you just, you know, point and clip. You move the cursor, you point it somewhere and you clip. There you go. Uh, it's usually good to look at everything. Like, absolutely everything. Just one second. Alright, it was fine. I was just checking stuff. Um, so, and, uh, you, stuff happens. You can do I can't touch it. It's spiny. Yeah. Yeah. Back when games would talk back to you. Not like Space Quest. Because that guy's a douche. I have all those games. I think I have all of them. I want the King's Quest ones, too, because those are good. Sierra's, Sierra's a different publishing company from around a similar time. If they weren't at the same time, LucasArts and Sierra's heydays definitely overlapped. So, what's that? How did that get up there? I can't reach it up there. It's because you're short. What's this? That one looks like it's from a local hardware store. It's from George's Hardware. Oh. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. That's going to become really important later. I'm really glad I picked that up right then. I'm getting better at this. Okay, so what's the window? Ugh. And if, like, it'll immediately push you on one, but if you click over here, it's an immediate cancel, so. I can't see past the sign in the window. That's unfortunate, Bernard. Just moving stuff around. Uh, then I will take, um... Yeah, I'll take it, because I kind of want to see what's out there. Someone's breaking into a car out there. Oh my god. I'm not leaving this motel until I find those tentacles. But Bernard, someone's breaking into a car. Ah, oh, there's a dime. Spearmint, my favorite. Not the most important part of that. It's stuck to the floor. Hello. Hmm. There's a dime. Give me that dime. Oh, it's the office. Uh, whose office, though? I forgot I have to click to go through it. Oh, this is... It's, uh, Ed's office. See, look. It's a Darth Vader calendar. What's it ha What happens? What happened when I look wow, at it? Wow, it's from my favorite movie. Oh, imagine that. But January. Oh, they even know the right month. Swiss bank book. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. Dr. Fred Edison. Whatever. I left my little black book at home. Like you have a little black book. Oh no, is there something in the drawer? Can I do that? Ah, oh, go stand over there. I can't. It's mine now. Alright, out of here. Um. Hmm, there's something funny about that clock. Hmm. I would say it's because it's sideways, but I know that's just like the art, so I'm not gonna say anything. Ha ha! Aha! A secret passage. This is all too easy. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, Hoagie. Laverne. Laverne. How'd you get up, Star? How do you get? I love Hoggy. Am I upstairs? I love all these characters. I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, honey. Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world. Had to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah. yeah. Mark wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? <laughs> See, they know each other. 
Okay, you're free to go. The tentacles are from Thanks, Maniac Mansion 2. Fred Edison did yes, make them. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? <laughs> Leaping lab rat! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops. Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river. Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course. That's why I'll have to do it. Yesterday, through the time machine. This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children, the Chronogon. Doc, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. Well, I'll be. Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It works! I can't believe it! And they said Imitation Diamond wasn't good enough. Uh-oh. Cheap mail order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking.
Alright, so this is where the real game begins. Or the real game, the main game. Um, so it's a time mechanic, and as you'll see, well, because of these chronogons. Um, you'll see when I access, I guess you won't yet, so we'll figure that out in a minute. What happens if I try it? I just want to know. I don't want to cause any more trouble. Yes, you do. Um, LucasArts also made other games you may, not, you may or may not know of, like, um, like the Monkey Island games. Uh, that one about the bikers. I don't remember. Maniac Mansion, of course. Grim Fandango. That's a good one. I have that one. Um, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, I think? Uh, I mean, they made a lot. Oh, Full Throttle. That's what it's called. Full Throttle. And, uh, I mean,. They're good games. They're just really, really good games. Um, oh yeah, Sam and Max hit the road. That too. They made a flippin' bunch. But, um, also, this game and I are the same age. We're both 1993, 24 years old. Bernard quit looking at me like that. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a generator driven by a treadmill. Huh. Let's go upstairs. Oh no! What about his to-do list? You, Doctor Fred. He went up there, so we'll just follow him for now. Triangular man spotted at the scene. Who could it be? The plan! The plan! No way. There's things in there that look like they've been there for years. Gross. Doesn't anyone ever clean this thing? Apparently not. Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. And fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. Doesn't it? But he's looking for plans, and I want to follow him. So where is he going? Now, where did Dr. Fred go? Uh, maybe up even more? What's in there? There doesn't seem to be anything dangerous in here. Oh, it's a bed. I wouldn't want to strain myself. No time for that now. I'm saving the world from purple tentacles. You could. It's already open. Oh. Well then, let's go. I mean, okay. <laughs> I can't. It's stuck. Why? Let's go down there. I guess we'll just we'll just poke around this old, this man's house for now. You know? Oh, it's cold. I don't want to do that. What uh? What's in here? Oh, it's his wife. Excuse me. What is it? I'm rather. Say, aren't you Bernard Bernoulli? You know it, bitch. 
Uh, no, my name is Threepwood. I'm gonna say that because that's the um, that's the name of the main character in Seeker of Monkey Island, uh, Guybrush Threepwood. It's a pirate game. No, my name is Threepwood. Nice try, but I never forget a face. Damn it! You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. Well, yeah. You come for this time? Funsies. I know, I am just a hero. 